In this section, we look at the fixed objects of an adjoint situation. Given an adjoint situation, FG, we define the category of fixed objects of FG and A to consist of A objects A, such that the amorphism of the co-unit on A is an isomorphism. And we define the HOM set of fixed objects A and A prime to be the same as the HOM set in A of A and A prime for each pair of fixed objects A and A prime. In other words, the category of fixed objects in A is a full subcategory of A. Similarly, the category of fixed objects of F, G, and B is a full subcategory of B, consisting of B objects B, such that the unit on B is an isomorphism. Then, if we are given an adjoint situation F, G, the category of fixed objects in A is equivalent to the category of fixed objects in B, as indicated in the diagram on the right. It is easy to verify this, since the restrictions of the functors G and F make eta and epsilon isomorphisms. And this is the definition of an equivalence of categories. Then, as a corollary, we let F, G be reflective, respectively co-reflective, then A is equivalent to the category of fixed objects in B, and respectively, B is equivalent to the fixed objects in A. This holds since if FG is reflective, epsilon is already an isomorphism, and so the fixed objects in A of FG is equal to the category A, and if FG is co-reflective, then eta is an isomorphism, so the fixed objects in B of GF is equal to the category B.